I grew up in a small, small town where everybody knew everybody. And as I grew, life took me away out into the world where I could play. I realized that I traveled through time that every once in a while, God brought somebody you knew. And once in a while, you realized somebody's related to somebody else. But the world was busy and crowded with time and trials and tribulations and kind. But then God was so wonderful. He brought me to you. Here I am, close to where I was born, back in a small, small town where everybody knew everybody. And then I take you to the hospital and meet a man named Smith. It all goes back to a farmer, Farmer Smith. And he's telling about so-and-so marrying so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so and being related to so-and-so. And so many people knew so many people. And I too even knew someone that they knew. Because I married the mother of a man that worked for Smith. Life is so small. It may seem so big and tall, but life is so small because God owns it all. Amen. Hallelujah. I just did a recording about life being so small. And Joy said, you're so good as you talk so tall. She says, you've got feet that tell the story. you got the Longfellow. I said, what's wrong with my feet? She said, look at those dirty things. Those are long fellows. Well, I can't help I'm tall and got long fellows for feet. But the words roll out of me just like it was so neat that I knew without a question that I had long fellow feet. Now, she said, I'm like a fart in a hailstorm. I never heard a fart in a hailstorm. All I heard were those silver balls coming down from the sky that pampered all over the cars in the sky. My son's car was demolished one year by hailstones. But nonetheless, I feel like I'm better than a fart in the storm. Now, she says, I sound like an old, old man. From the fart in the hailstorms to the long fellow feet, and the small, small town where everyone knows the beat. It's just called life, because God owns it all. And I shall quit now with this tall, tall tale.